This module will cover how to copy and paste variable properties, as well as how to insert and delete variables and cases. Knowing how to do this can save a lot of time. In a data file, you might have numerous variables with the same properties. In this situation, it's a lot faster to copy and paste as opposed to typing everything in over and over again. So let's get started. Currently, we are in the Variable View tab, and what we're going to be showing you first is how to copy and paste variable properties. As you can see, variables 2, 3, and 4 have the same values. 1, strongly disagree, 2, disagree, 3, agree, and 4, strongly agree. Instead of typing that over and over again, we're going to show you a simple way to copy and paste the variable along with its properties. The first thing that you want to do is right click on row 4. Then in the submenu, select copy. Afterwards, left click on row 5, then drag it down to row 15. Then right click anywhere in the selected area, then select Paste. As you can see, the newly created variables share the same properties as our variable Q3. However, the names of the newly created variables are a generic variable and a number. So let's rename them. Click in cell Name in row 5 and type Q4. Let's rename the next variable as well. Let's name this one Q5. Then the next one Q6. And then Q7. To delete the remaining variables, left click on row 9 and then drag your mouse to row 15 right click on any of the selected rows and in the sub menu select clear now we have variables id and q1 through q7 if you wanted to add a new variable in between let's say for example variable q1 and q2 then first right click on row 3 then select Insert Variable. This method creates a brand new variable in which you have to set the variable properties from scratch. Let's go ahead and practice clearing this variable by right-clicking on row 3, then selecting Clear. In order to practice inserting cases, let's go back to the Data View. On the very bottom of your data file, click on the Data View tab. We have some pretend cases to work with. They are in alphabetical order. Let's say that you had a new case that you wanted to insert under ID name Bryant. Now that would have to go in between case Adams and case Connor. So in order to do that, you want to right click on row 2, then select Insert Cases. Now that there's a space for a new case to be entered, click in the ID cell in row 2. Type in Bryant, then click in cell Q1 in row 2. Then type in some values. 2 under Q1 row 2, and then a 1 under Q2 row 2, and then another one under Q3 row 2. Now, if you wanted to clear this variable, you right-click in row 2, then select Clear. Now we're back to where we started. 